Hey guys, today we talk about the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2, aka the Beluga 2.0. Tune in. Hey guys, welcome to Cut Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. The sneaker you've all been waiting for, the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2, AKA the Beluga 2.0. Long story short, my lady, my wife, loves Yeezys. So I was like, let me try and get her Yeezys. I ended up copying Yeezys for her and I was like, what the hell? I might as well try and cop some Yeezys. So I tried and I cop some Yeezys as well. But anyways guys, enough talking. Let's get straight into this sneaker review. So on the inside of this Yeezy Boost, you'll notice that it has the Yeezy and Adidas insignia inside the footbed of the sneaker. In addition to that, on the inner heel, notice that it has the three stripes in a 3M colorway. The whole upper of the sneaker is made up of a charcoal and also a lighter gray colorway, which is infused with an assortment of stripes onto the sneaker. On the lateral portion, of the, you have that popular Supply 350 and it is in an orange or actually a darker orange or burnt orange colorway. At the back or the heel of the sneaker, you'll notice that it also has a pull tab and it also has some indentations of that burnt orange as well. And also the midsole and also the outsole of the sneaker has what everybody loves and craves, the boost and it's encapsulated in a translucent plastic looking colorway. The shoelaces also comes in a rope like fashion and it is also in gray as well. In addition to that, notice that there's detailed stitching on the middle of this sneaker that penetrates all the way to the back of the sneaker as well. All in all, I'm glad that more people were able to get this sneaker. Maybe the hype will die down a little bit, but who knows, it's a Yeezy, a lot of people love it. Pricing wise, these were retailing for $220 and I was glad to have at least cop for my wife. Sizing wise, I believe these sneakers would be best if you went a half size up. I got a size 13. Usually my size is a size 12 and a half. I still got the 13 and it still feels a little bit snug at the toe box, but I think with time and overall wear of the sneaker, the sneaker will loosen up a little bit. So Casa question of the day, people. What do you think about the Yeezy Beluga 2.0s? And also guys, will you be trying to cop the blue tints that are coming out on the 16th of this month. Let me know down in the comment section below and let's talk about it, people. Hey guys, so my sneaker talk is up for today. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the information that was provided to you today. Also, hit that notification for the one time if your boy treated you well. Guys, I wanna say I appreciate all of you guys for watching my videos. Thank you for old and new subscribers and let's continue to grow this channel. Anyways guys, I'll see you all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces.